Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here. As you know, this week is episode six of season seven of The Masked Singer, which means double elimination. And if you followed our reveal last Friday, which keep in mind was Ms. Teddy, which you can watch that video by clicking the link in the description below, I told you that most likely we're gonna reveal the armadillo on Monday because two people are going home and let's be honest, where's she at? She's right over here. The ringmaster has been on fire, and I don't feel like she's going anywhere anytime soon. So let's go ahead and reveal who's under the mask of the armadillo. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So yes, we've only had two weeks of clues with the brand new format where you really only get to see a character two times, one time, or if you're lucky, three times. And so right now, we've got a lot of clues to kind of cover when it comes to the armadillo. Look, the armadillo is definitely someone who we know isn't going to be making it to the finale. Though he has been a lot of fun this season, and it's someone that not many people kind of realized it would be. Now, with the armadillo, we had two weeks of clues. One of them really was a really good week with the clue commercial. The second week, really weren't too many clues, but let's go ahead and break it down. The first time we saw them was episode four, and this was Armadillo's clue commercial. Bros, if you're a goodie like me, you have a tough exterior, but are soft on the inside, and care about how others see you. And after I've tackled a long day, sometimes my shell is scarred, dented, or straight up bruised. So when I get home, I go after my must-have product, Armadillo Scrubs. They wipe out scum like nothing else and leave my shell looking shiny. So whether I'm chasing down my enemies or snuggling up to my lady, I always look and feel great. That's the Dillo in Armadillo Scrubs. Visual clues were rocks, hot dog sunglasses, and bow and arrow. Next was episode five. There was no clue commercial, so we didn't have any visual clues, but he did say that he would protect the good with his life, and that's what he does for a living. He kicks butt. That's a clue. That's a big clue. Now there was a mega clue, and his was a motorcycle. So, someone that rides motorcycles. Now, I know there really aren't many clues to kind of base this character off of, but we do have the pitch correct audio. So for those who don't know, every single week we get these brand new clue packages, and in those clue packages are the real celebrities speaking. But Fox is smart, They're like, you know what guys? We can't let them use their real celebrity voice because if we do, people are gonna recognize them. So they take the audio, they speed it up, they pitch it up. That way you have no idea who it is, but I'm an executive audio producer here in New York City where it's my job to make audio sound good. And in the case of the mask singer, it's slowing down and pitch correcting the audio. That way you can hear the real celebrity voice. Then you take that audio, you put it next to your list of people that you think it is and boom, you can find your answer. Now let's go ahead and play the pitch correct audio and then make our guess. I'll play the original audio they gave us and then our audio. So here you go. So Nick, you're the one that took my keys to the wild hog. It's a shame these guys had to walk my bike. So Nick, you're the one that took my keys to the wild hog. It's a shame these guys had to walk my bike out. Looks like it's dead. So who do you think it is? Come on, let me know in the comment section. I'm gonna tell you who I think it is in three, two, one. It is Dog the Bounty Hunter, right? I think we can all agree on this one. During our live streams for the past two weeks, I think we've all said, oh, it's definitely, definitely dog, definitely dog. There really isn't much singing to compare of him, but we're gonna go ahead and compare his speaking voice. Here you go. So Nick, you're the one that took my keys to- I can't come in here with the Bible. So yeah, that audio matches up. Now let's go ahead and answer all the clues. We're gonna start off with him saying, tough exterior, but soft on the inside. Well. If you watch his TV show, you would definitely know that this guy is a family man at heart. I mean, how many shots do they have around his table eating with his family, him talking about his family? How many times have he cried, right? I know, it's kind of strange because you're like, this is a tough dude. But on the inside, he's such a sweetheart. Next, he said straight up bruised. Well, in his profession as a bounty hunter, he's bound to get in some fights and get some bruises and scratches. He talks about snuggling up to his lady. First of all, did you know he's been married like five different times? I know, it's really sad because like, for example, his last wife, 
she died most recently, but he has a new wife called Franchi. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, his other wife we're talking about is actually Beth. She was the one who's mostly on that original Dog the Bounty Hunter TV show. Next in that episode, we saw all of those visual clues. We saw rocks, which refers to Denver. He's from Denver, Colorado, AKA the Rockies. Hot dogs, reference to his name, dog. Sunglasses, I mean, the guy wears sunglasses everywhere. You Google him, there's sunglasses in the strangest places. He's on a talk show wearing sunglasses. Could you explain that one to me? We saw a bow and arrow, well, bounty hunters, bow and arrow, you're a hunter, kind of makes sense there. Next was episode five, he says, protect the good with his life. That's what I do for a living, I kick butt. I mean, that's literally his job description. Then the mega clue, motorcycle. Did you know he used to be in a motorcycle gang? I didn't know that, I guess it kind of makes sense now, but he was in a gang and he still rides his motorcycle. And then probably the biggest clue we're gonna talk about, which is something that I think is kind of funny, because this is the second time this happened this season. The way that they pan the angle of the camera, you can kind of see his beard. I know that happened with the Ram for Joe Buck, and now it happened again here. So anyway, there you guys go. Those are all of the clues, the pitch correct audio, and everything that I say points to it being Dog the Bounty Hunter. But do you agree? Let me know in the comment section, and I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Join me tomorrow for the Mask Singer Season 7, Episode 6 preview. That's right, it's a lot to say. And then join me and Ari for the show on Wednesday for the live stream. And I want to thank you for joining me. Please stay safe and sound. I'll see you later. Bye.